D.C., the nation's capital. This will be the first meeting for President John F. Kennedy and Mrs. Kennedy with the man who played a leading role in the creation of African unity. speak in behalf of all of my fellow Americans in welcoming His Imperial Majesty back to the United States. Since His Majesty visited the United States nearly a decade ago, we have seen uh, one of the most extraordinary revolutions in history, and that has been the appearance on the world scene of 29 independent countries in the short space of less than 10 years including over 150 million people. The conference recently held in His Majesty's capital served, I think, uh, to bring together in a great uh, cooperative movement the people of most of these countries. And the success of that conference was due in no small part to the leadership of our distinguished guests, his efforts to move his country forward and provide a better life for its people, and his efforts uh, throughout the world which stretch back uh, over 30 or 40 years. For all of this, uh, Your Majesty, we take the greatest pride in welcoming you here. You do us honor, and I can assure you that there is no guest that we will receive in this country that will give uh, a greater sense of livelier pride and satisfaction to the American people than your presence here today. Your Majesty, you're most welcome. Mr. President, Mrs. Kennedy, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I am deeply touched by the generous words of welcome which you have addressed to me, Mr. President, and by the warmth with which the American people have greeted me during the few short hours I have been in the United States. In the decade which has elapsed since my first voyage to America, the face of the globe has been vastly altered. Africa and Asia have been transformed into continents whose people are almost entirely removed from the subjugated status which was the lot of so many of them but a few short years ago. As free men, we Africans are now seeking the unity and the oneness which will enable us to put our freedom to the best use. The service of the peoples of our continent, the defense of right and justice, the protection of the peace. የህዝባችን ኑሮ ደረጃ ተሻሽሎ ደንነት ድንነትና ድንቁራ ድንቁርና ካለም እንዲወገድ ቁርጥ ሐሳብ አድርገናል of Ethiopian women are among the welcoming crowds. The Emperor of Ethiopia has come to Washington to discuss important aspects of world peace and economic progress. He confers with President Kennedy on African problems and aspirations in these vital areas.
memorial to Abraham Lincoln. The Emperor and his party arrive at the Lincoln Memorial to place a silver wreath in honor of the American president, who is an international symbol of unity and freedom. President Kennedy, Secretary of Interior, Stuart Udall, accompanies the Emperor. Included in the Emperor's party are Ras Imaru Haile Selassie, Ambassador Dinky, Ethiopian Ambassador to the United States, and Ambassador Corey, United States Ambassador to Ethiopia. Mr. Udall reads from Abraham Lincoln's immortal Gettysburg Address. They gave the last full measure of devotion. That we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain. That this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom. And that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth.